Okay, we're back with more Kerbal Space Program. If you remember our last flight, we got a bunch of science. We used that science to unlock some uh, some cool things we can do for our ships. So let's go ahead and use that to try to get an orbital flight. Jeb really wants to get into orbit. So what did we unlock? We unlocked a whole bunch of more stuff. We got uh, a bigger fuel tank, so we definitely want that. Tell you, let's just throw this this garbage away. Let's use two big fuel tanks here instead of the one little one. Uh, and then, oh, also, let's go ahead and get into our structural menu here. Let's get this decoupler going. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. That's pretty awesome. Now we're going to use another decoupler here. And here's what we're going to do with... Oh, wait, we're not going to use a decoupler here. Huh. We should probably put an engine on this bad boy. What do you think? <laughs> now we're going to use another decoupler here. And then we're going to put a solid rocket booster here. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. And I'm hitting X to make more. Let's put four around it, just like we did. But now we've got five solid rocket boosters on the bottom stage here. We're going to put those all together. And these are going to lift us off and get us pretty freaking high up in the air. And then we're going to kick kick this off to drop them so that when this runs, we don't have to carry these up, which is what we the problem we ran into last time. And then... After we get into orbit, we're going to make sure we save some fuel, because if we do get into orbit, we're going to want to deorbit. So uh, if, it, if I start getting low on fuel, I need to watch for that. So that's something important. Jeb doesn't want to stay up in orbit forever. Uh, <laughs> but it might be kind of a fun thing to do a rescue. So here's our ship. Let's uh, go ahead and head to the launch pad. We're going to... Uh, let's do, make this test launch 2. Let's call it Orbiter 1. How's that? <laughs> Orbiter 1. I have no idea if this is actually going to achieve orbit, and I don't care. I just want to I want to do space things. Okay, here we are. We're on the launch pad. Things are looking pretty good. Let's turn on this. I'm going to crank the uh, the throttle up, even though uh, the solid rocket boosters don't need throttle. Hey, Jeb. Uh, we're also going to uh, do a crew report here. See, it's only worth 0.6 value, so I'm not even going to bother doing it, but I can do more crew reports. I can I can do this same crew report over and over again, I've noticed, and it's worth the same amount. So I can I can just get that report later if I if I feel like it. So um oh there's the moon. We're coming to you someday moon, I promise. Uh let's go ahead and say three two one launch. And this rocket is a little overpowered. <laughs> um but we're also I didn't really bother doing things like a gravity turn or something before. Um, looks like our solid rocket boosters are going to blow themselves apart. Oh! <laughs> okay, there's a design problem. <laughs> we are, uh... Yeah. This one rocket booster is... It is speeding us up, which is okay. And actually, we're going pretty damn fast. You don't really want to be going this fast, this high up in the air. There was our decoupler. I just hit the space bar to hit the, to hit the next thing. Looks like we're not going to be making orbit. Not a big deal, but I kind of wanted to do that. I think we're going to have to rework our launch cycle, but that's okay. Okay, we're at 10,000 meters, so I'm going to switch over here. Whoopsie. Control isn't very good. I think we might need to research uh, some SAS computers here. The SAS keeps you going in the direction you're going. Actually, I'm not, not research SAS. We need to research... Uh, bring up all of my little windows here. Need to research. Oh, it, 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 this is something I learned. If you click on this, it keeps it there. And if you click on it again, it goes away. It's just really nice to just have it there. So we're going to get this up to about uh, 75 or, or so. And then hit the X key to stop it from going. We're still fairly low in the atmosphere, so we're, so we're losing some speed. We're losing some speed, but we're still doing pretty good. Okay, we're over the ocean now. Ah, uh, we'll wait. We'll wait and do a crew report to see if we get into into orbit here. Yeah, we're going to be just over the atmosphere. Uh, I'm going to set a maneuver node to see how much burn I need to get into an actual orbit. And it would be... I would like it to be a very, very small orbit. That's not an actual orbit. <laughs> okay, 74 by... Yada yada. 27 second burn? I think I might have that in me. 
We're just going to actually, instead of doing that, though, we're just going to burn prograde. 27 seconds. I need to start my burn. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to put my apoapsis up here again. And I'm just going to watch this time to apoapsis. I hate to do all this from the from the map screen, but uh, I don't have any mods installed that tell me where these things are. But uh, map screen's pretty pretty <laughs> in this in this game. So when I get to about uh, say 20 seconds, I'm gonna I'm gonna throttle it up and see what that does to my apoapsis. Uh, let's go ahead and do it now. Oh, well, we can we can push our apoapsis ahead of us, which is nice. So I'm gonna wait until we're about 15 away and crank it up and see what happens. Um, the the trick here is you want to keep chasing your apoapsis. That's very important in this game. Uh, you don't want to pass your apoapsis, which I'm in danger of doing right now. <laughs> so, uh, how are we doing on fuel? We're getting pretty darn low on fuel, too. If I get down to under 5, I am going to... Uh... Oh, I am under 5. Okay. So we're in space. So we're going to do a quick EVA while we're, we're out of the atmosphere here. And we're going to take another crew report. Uh, we've got eight more sciences. Let's go ahead and keep that. And then we're going to get back in the ship before we uh, come back in the atmosphere. Now we're going to take another crew report here. And it's worth 1.9 because uh, we're, we're, we, we've taken this report before. Let's go ahead and transmit it, though. Might as well. We can actually read the, the thing here. The thing comes out. We get our, we get our transmission data. Let's go ahead and take another crew report. <laughs> See, it's worth less, but we might—I mean, we might as well because we have no nothing else to do as far as uh, crew reports are concerned. So let's go ahead and keep that data. Just trying to get the most data possible. We're basically out of fuel. Um. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip around and I'm going to hit the space bar at the top of this. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, and see, see, notice the the fact that I can control this like perfectly as it goes, which is nice. But uh, yeah, we're notice the, the music stopped. We're out of the atmosphere now. We're coming down. That's falling away from us. Uh, we're gonna come down somewhere in this ocean. I'm gonna guess. I don't think we'll make it all the way over here, but you never know. Well, you you can know, but I don't. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna we're gonna speed up time a little bit, and oh yes, the big warning that comes up every time. But uh, we're gonna watch watch our fuel thing spiral array below us. We're cruising along here. We're coming down. Atmosphere starts at seventy, so we're in the atmosphere, but we're in the very tenuous upper atmosphere, so it's not really slowing us down that much. We actually got pretty close to an orbit. If we hadn't uh, burned up our solid rocket boosters, we probably could have made orbit. Uh, we were a little bit low on fuel, though, so maybe uh, maybe another tank. Don't know. Uh, we can try that. Um, also, sun is setting behind us because we're uh, we're heading into the darker regions. We can, all we can see is the mountains off there in the distance. Big galaxy or something off over there on the horizon. Our fuel tank, uh, when it gets above, uh, when it gets, I think, more than two or three kilometers from us, it's going to just vanish. Uh, goodbye, sun. Oh, look at that. Oh, here comes our re-entry. Here, here comes our burning up in the atmosphere. <laughs> I just flipped the pod over. Yeah, we're going to land really close to the shore here, actually. Let's go ahead and bring that parachute out. Don't want to... We want to smash into the ground or nothing. We're coming down. Looks like we're just going to hit the water. Going 100 meters per second. It's kind of fast. Oh! I know what way it was fast. I had physics warp on. I just killed Jeb. <laughs> Luckily, first of all, I could revert the flight. Um, but I'm not going to do that because a Jeb comes back to life or, and if he doesn't in this version, I will bring him back to life. Uh, cause he was killed by physics. He wasn't killed by me. <laughs> I forgot that I was in physics warp. Uh, so let's go back to the space center.
And I don't know if you could tell by watching the video, but the uh, quality of the, the video degraded over the course of the 10 minutes that we've seen so far. I recorded a further 20 minutes or so after that, and the quality just kept going worse and worse and worse. Rather than redo that second mission, I decided to just splice in just the important parts of it and cut it down to about seven minutes total left to go in this video. Um, I fixed the problem, <laughs> so this won't happen in the future, but uh, I can't fix the video because it's just bad. So sorry, next video will be better. So here we go with the second half. So I got the science I transmitted, which means I got one more science point. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this flight again. Coming into here. Who do we got? Bill! Bill, ignore what happened to Jeb. That won't happen to you, I promise. Let's throttle up. Get ready. Make sure everything is in the right order. It is, and let's go. Oh, we should probably turn on the computer. What do you think, Jeb? What do you think, Bill? And our engines are going to overheat again. <laughs> I'm not really happy about that. I think I'm going to revert this flight again. Let's go back to vehicle semi. We've got plenty of acceleration at the, at the start. Having three is fine. But I think I'm going to utilize these. And we're going to put symmetry on. Put that on there, and then that on there. That way these things aren't right next to each other. Let's go ahead and save that and launch again. What do you think, Bill? You think this is a good rocket? Turn on the computer. Oh yeah, we're doing space. Bill, you are going to be the first Kerbal in orbit. Kerbin? Kerbal. Yeah, Kerbal. Kerbin is the planet. Kerbal are its inhabitants. Yeah, we have like new control. And these things are heating up, but they're not heating up nearly as quickly as they were before. Let's go ahead and start our gravity turn a little early. Because we are going so fast. Hey, you always want to go east because the planet's rotating east. Let's go to about 75 this time. Because 70 was a little low. But when it gets up to 75... Actually, well, we made it to 75 before, didn't we? Let's get up to 80. Get our apoapsis up to 80 here. 65, 70, 75, 80. Okay, it's close enough. Um, now, let's crank it down to the horizon. Bill, you're in space. What do you think about that? He seems pretty excited. <laughs> okay, um, we are 20 seconds, 20 second burn. Or, yeah, so we're going to want to start. Uh, I'm just going to do this all with the maneuver now. It was a little bit harder to do than I thought with that. But we're going to wait till we get to about 15 seconds away. And then I'm going to crank up the throttle here. And we're just going to head straight at that maneuver node. Pushing our apoapsis away from us. Now we're, we're creeping up on it, which is probably good. Watching our fuel. Looks like we have plenty of fuel to reach orbit, which Side is nice. The there we go, we're in space! And we have a ton of fuel. Let's go ahead and kill this maneuver node, and let's check out... We've got a 80 kilometer apoapsis, and we're just above the atmosphere, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to make it as easy as possible to get Bill home. So, Bill, what do you think about space? Pretty, Pretty awesome, awesome, huh? Let's go ahead and do an EVA report. And he says, yep, I've recorded my observations. I don't want to transmit, because it's only worth 50%, so I'm going to keep it time wrong. Um, let's go ahead and review our data. Uh, we've got... Yeah, can I... I know I have two datas, because I have a crew report. Oh, I've got the EVA report. Oh, I guess I don't have a crew report, because I, I threw it away. Um, I can transmit it for 50%, but who wants to do that? Let's take another crew report. Just so we have two of these. Ah, there we go. I can, I can cycle through them like this. Okay. So I can transmit this for 100% of the data. 100% of 0.7, so I might as well, just because just cause I, I, you know, I have the, the power for it, so I might as well. Dark, though. So let's actually, let's bring ourselves down in this water here. We're still pretty close. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a maneuver, and if you remember from Jeb's failed flight, uh, you land a lot closer than what the thing says. So I'm going to do something like that. Not only that, but Kerbin's rotating. So actually I might do something closer to that. 
So I'm going to aim myself backwards here. Okay, okay, that's good enough right there. It doesn't really matter. I don't have to get an exact burn. But, uh, okay, Bill. Let's go ahead and see how that does for us. We're going to speed up until we're out of the, or in the atmosphere, I should say. One. Might have overshot the water. <laughs> but that's okay. A land landing is fine. And who knows, maybe I overshot this continent. I, I'm not very good at landing uh, in the air. For all I know, I'm going to land on those mountains. Hopefully I won't crash into them. Looks like, uh, actually, it looks like I'm going to be fairly close to Kerbal Spaceport. Space Center, whatever it's called. Because there, there's the Space Center. There's the uh, island runway. Hey, guys. <laughs> Flying right over it. Capsule. But uh, I'm assuming that there's probably some sort of a naval base on that island, too. And that's uh, that's why Bill aimed for this spot. Because he is a professional, and he doesn't want he doesn't want Kerbal Spaceport or Kerbal Space Center to uh, have to spend extra money. So there you go. Unlike Bill, or unlike Jeb, Bill has successfully come in for a landing. He's even still got his antenna. I think Bill's trying to compensate for something with that long antenna there. <laughs> but we have landed successfully. Our first successful orbit. Good job, Bill. Um, but before we, uh, before we can't finish for the day, I'm going to decide here what I want to buy. Do I want to buy a littler engine and some landing struts and another parachute, which doesn't sound all that fun, to be honest with you. Do I want some, uh, some winglets and some, some radial decouplers, which would be kind of nice to kick off those, uh, solid rocket boosters and an aerodynamic nose cone, which I believe doesn't do anything. Honestly, that doesn't sound very fun. You know what sounds fun to me? Another booster. And a Separatron, which is a little booster, which sounds awesome. And a super huge solid rocket booster. That all sounds really fun. I think I'm going to buy this tech tree. So, 20 science points. Boom, we have just researched. And look at that, our tree is just getting bigger and bigger. I'm getting excited. But uh, next time when we come back, I'm going to use some of these parts. And I'm actually going to also use that uh, goo. I forgot to put the mystery goo on my on my initial orbiter. But not a big deal. Um, so, uh, oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got... Look at that, we can put more rockets on things. We can we can actually hold up a good thing. We got struts. You she loves to watch me strut, you know that. I, I don't know what <laughs> Let's see. Oh, a bigger fuel tank, another engine. Oh, lots of good stuff going on. But we're not gonna buy any of that stuff right now. We're gonna go back and uh and and just build a new rocket and get somebody else into orbit and see what we can do in space. <laughs> but uh I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always. Talk to you later.